Hello, my name is Stefan Malinou. Thank you for joining me today. You're part of the solution. The mere fact that you're watching this proves you're smarter than everyone else around you. I've got a great five and a half hour show for you today in which I'll be spewing a bunch of unintelligible bullshit from my mouth in order to gain attention from morons who can't even think past their face. But first, let me present to you some random musings from a crazed lunatic. Me, Stefan. I'm the lunatic. He. I know you can't tell by looking at me now, but I used to be a little pimple-faced brat. I was helpless. I used to get picked on all the time. People would steal my candy after school and I would say, Give me my candy back, guys! I want my candy back! Come on, give me my candy back, guys! Let me tell you something, that candy never comes back. Unless you learn how to stand up for yourself like a mom. And that's what I do now. I pick fights with people on the internet. It means I'm tough. I'm a man. So what? I was beated as a child. I'm fine. I'm just fine now. Fuck my mother, that whore! If women think they deserve equal pay, I'd like to see them stand in the ring and take a punch from me. And if they can't, then leave. Do something the market needs and wants. Go make me an iPhone. Go make me a dinner, something useful. Instead of standing around Smelling like clit. You know what, if you weren't too busy having your period, maybe you could read some books or watch my show. I was lying in bed last night sucking my thumb like a little bitch. And I realized something. Anyone that sends me a donation of less than a hundred smackers is a peasant. How dare you? I feel sorry for you. I must rather you kept the money. A hundred dollars to more? <laughs> you lazy bastard. Do you sew your own clothes, darling? Good Lord, just keep the money. What am I going to do with a hundred dollars? Like a slap in my face, you bitch. Did you guys see me on Joe Rogan's show? I think we have a clip, let's show it. Welcome back to the Joe Rogan Show. Hiya! Be sure to pick up my processed protein, my organic pussy juice, and my dildos. They're 10% off on my website this week by using the promo code Fuck it. Hiya! Tap out! Yeah. Now where were we talking about, Steph? I do believe we were talking about how awesome my stupid opinions are. No, that's not it. I think I was contradicting myself, which I do fucking daily. Stefan, I'm gonna put you in a suplex so bad you're gonna wish it was fucking Friday, you fucking asshole. Told you it was great. Defooing is not a defining term of a cult. I am no cult leader. I just want you to leave your family and give me all your money. It's a big difference. Do I look like a cult leader to you? No, I look normal. I don't know why I talk with an English accent. Because I'm actually from Nebraska. My name's Steve. But nobody takes you seriously when your name is Steve from Nebraska. Sounds stupid. So I changed my name. Just like Jesus and Will Shakespeare. Do you remember when you were a young lad and used to hide in your sister's closet so you could sneak a peek of her and a boyfriend rubbing their tummies together? Those were the days. But my sister's a filthy whore. I know because I've literally watched her fuck 57 men. It's disgusting. Jesus. I miss it. People always ask me how I became such a great debater. Well, for the first time ever, I'm going to tell you. Everything I know about debating, I learned from this book. And I got it for $9.95. Can you believe it? Bought it at a garage sale. Amazing deal, like highway robbery. I never know what the fuck I'm talking about because I keep myself in an utter state of perpetual confusion. You were probably spanked in the shower as a child with a wet bottom. You're welcome, world. I am the salvation of philosophy. You're welcome. You're wanting to send me your money. I can barely afford this Oshkosh Bagosh t-shirt. Gosh. I'm finally done ranting. Let's take some calls. Okay, Steph, our first caller is Garth and he's never donated. Go ahead. <laughs> We have the technology to provide for every person on earth. Let's just do that. All these stupid games about voluntarism and free markets is total bullshit. People just need their needs met. Then we can all use our natural abilities to advance society. Why is this so damn difficult? You see, Goff, what I'm going to do is minimize your argument by taking your comments completely out of context. Truth be told, I wasn't even listening to anything you just said. But I did hear one word. I never lose an argument in my own mind because my mind is crazy. I'm a fucking lunatic. I don't know why anyone even listens to me. Give me the time of day. 
Good Lord, I'm a moron. Next call. Our next caller is Otis. Go ahead. Let's just get rid of money. It's not real. Everyone deserves to live. Get over yourself. Gosh. Everything you just said was too logical. Don't like that at all. Next call. Christina is on the air. Go ahead. Hello, it's your wife. I'm upstairs losing my therapist license. Can you please keep it down? It's very distracting. Yes, sigh, sweetheart. Oh, and Extina. Yes? Can you close your underwear drawer? There are moths everywhere. Okay. Thank you. I have to go, but remember, money is not the root of all evil. Women are. So send me your money. Please, give me your money, please. I'd smack a woman. If she was stupid enough to be around me right now, I would smack her right up shy dad. 